Okay, so let's open up this uh, quadcopter and let's take a look and see what is inside. Um, we saw in the manual here earlier that they give you a really beautiful breakdown of this thing, how the whole thing comes apart. And they even give you a screwdriver. You know, it is for other things, the battery door and stuff. But I'm thinking that this screwdriver will probably get us into the entire thing here. So let's uh, open up a, a couple screws and see what we get. So the only thing this, this uh, diagram doesn't have, like a lot of exploded uh, diagrams, is all the screw locations. Um, so I've taken a lot of the screws out. Quite a few you can see on the table here. They've fallen out. And so I've taken basically every screw in the bottom I can see. There's, uh, let's see, there's one, two, three, four. There's five on, I might have forgotten this one. There's five on each pod. No, that one's loose. So there's 20 screws in the bottom. They're all taken out. And it looks like this is, there's a seam here, but it looks like this is actually one piece all the way here. You can see, and then on the top, it looks like this is actually, and I'll try not to lose any screws if they drop out. And it looks like right here, this is actually a seam. And that's sort of what it shows like on the picture here. I can see, so this is the, the bottom chassis, which is one full piece of plastic. And then the top has the small X and then there's there's some small pieces that go over top of the motors. So I would think, and I've already tried this, I would think that I could just lift this off. And it is it does come. And you can tell this is really super flexible plastic, so it's quite resilient to getting knocked about. But as I flex this, something is something down here is holding it. Okay, I figured it out. These things uh, plug into these holes here, these little uh, landing things. And inside that hole, there is actually a screw in there. So let me take out these additional four screws. Okay, so that's a bit better. As you squeeze, it sort of uh, unsnaps like so. And then it kind of comes a bit loose here. So this one should be the last one to snap and come loose. Now there's this on-off switch, so it might have to actually lift up on the back here. Yeah, so this looks like it's just a canopy and there's nothing else holding it. Okay, wrong again. <laughs> Under this little uh, battery compartment here. Two more hidden screws there, so two more screws to go. Okay, so those screws are out. There we go. Okay, so really I didn't have to take off um, these ones around these. So these three on each of these blades could have stayed. Um, but we'll be able to take a look at the uh, at the blades, the way it's taken off. Okay, so there is the actual board. The board looks quite nice. And I'll also upload a few uh, high-res pictures of the board. Okay, so I've loosened up this board here, uh, but unfortunately I can't actually spin it around just because of how tight these cables are. Uh, it won't let me actually get enough slack in any of these cables to give it a, uh, a full flip here. But I'll try to get, uh, get an angled picture here on, uh, on camera. And then we can take a closer look at uh, at what's on the back here with some high res pictures. There's three main chips of interest here. I've taken some high res pictures of them. They'll be posted on hackedgadgets.com. Uh, the first one over here on the right that is a um, a 2.4 gigahertz chip. That's the one that uh, uh, does all all of the wireless. That is a B-E-K-E-N-B-K-2423 chip. Beken is probably what it is. Um, I'll put the, uh, the links to these chips in the, uh, in the, the notes of the article here. Um, the next one over here in the middle, that is the microcontroller. And that is a uh, Mini 54ZAN chip. 
and over on the left hand side this is the uh, Invincense MPU 6050C and I got some data sheets here I got a So here's the the three chips. And so here is the uh, the Beckon. And so it's a low power, high performance, 2.4 gigahertz transceiver chip. And here are some of the details here. Has a uh, 16 megahertz crystal it, le it needs. Six data pipes, uh, typical uses are um, wireless mouse and keyboards, toys, home automation, remote controls, that sort of thing. There's a little block diagram of it. And this is the microcontroller. So that is a uh, Mini 51 and so it was actually the, um, let's see, 54 ZAN. And so this is from the same family. Um, this is actually from the the 54 PDF, but I guess it's uh, it has 51 all over it here. So it's a 32-bit microcontroller, uh, ARM Cortex M0. So a pretty powerful chip there. And this is the uh, last one here uh, in Ben Sense. And this is the, it was a um, 6050C. This is the probably the worst product spec sheet here. Oh, nothing's bolded, nothing's, uh, <laughs> nothing stands out here. It's just one big scrolling piece of information. But uh, so it tells us here, it is a uh, six axis device. It does uh, motion tracking. Uh, features three 16-bit analog to digital converters and a bunch more information about it. Uh, talks I2C and there we go. So these are the three main chips on board. Uh, there is on the bottom here, uh, looks like there is the motor control. I couldn't really uh, get a really close look at that. Uh, you can see some pictures on Hacked Gadgets about that also, but uh, yeah, that, that I think is quite uh, straightforward. That'll just be the motor, motor control for the, uh, for the four motors. For more information, go to hackedgadgets.com.